BoxingShow.tv fans, welcome back. We have a very special interview today. We're going to be having Lennox Lewis in a few minutes. But I'm with my calls right now here with Costa. How are you doing, Costa? I'm great, Alonso. How are you? I'm great. And uh, we're both great because actually um, we're in Quebec City for the rematch, the big fight. We have a lot of anticipation for this fight. And that's Lucien Boutet against Librado Andrade. My God, this fight. Pe um, people have been waiting for this rematch, and it's finally here. I'm excited. You're excited. The whole city is excited. It's insane. We haven't seen the city, or <laughs> not that many cities. Like, with the whole anticipation, people are, are, are going into the hotels. They booked. Everything is sold out. Um, Beautiful Quebec City. We even picked up one of those tourist magazines. The right. first thing on the cover, Boutte versus Andrade. That was incredible. It's and actually, uh, it's so big that HBO is actually came here for the first time over 30 years HBO is actually here they brought a huge crew and um, we, we saw Harold Letterman uh, we saw the, the guys from Michael Buffer is going to be here so everybody's here yeah, uh, Lennox uh, Lewis, Max Kellerman, everybody. It's great. It's great for the city of Quebec. It's great for Canadian boxing, and it's going to be a great fight. It's not going to disappoint. And let's get to it. Right now, we're going to discuss the fight, because the first time, controversial ending. Some people think it was, and some people think it was. We're not going to get into that. We've discussed that no. many times. <laughs> we're going to talk about the future. What's going to happen tonight, Alonzo? Well, according to Andrade, he wants to complete what he did in the uh, actual the th the 12th round, he wants to make it now into the 13th round. He wants to uh, take him out, and uh, I don't think he's going to be able to outbox him at all. He knows that. So uh, I guess that's his only chance, and Butte is going to try to outbox him uh, and try to go for the 12th round. Well, you Decision. Know, well, you know what? I think Butte had the right game plan the first time. He got a bit tired. He got sloppy. He let his hands down in the last few rounds. I think this time is going to be a lot smarter than that. And I think his fundamental boxing skills, which, like we all know, are a lot better than Librado Andrade. I think in the end, he's going to cruise to a unanimous decision. I think Librado is going to put a lot of pressure. And there might be moments where it might be a bit difficult. But in the right. end, I see Lucian Bute retaining his IBF. I'm not going to go as far as, uh, of course, uh, the logic says if he boxes a little bit more, he's going to get the win. But it's uh, an accumulation of punches that uh, Andrade keeps giving and giving. And that's the result of what happened in the last fight. It's not just one round that happened. And I think that uh, Librado has enough uh, experience that he knows he can actually hurt uh, Bute. And he knows he can take his punches, but Bute knows he cannot stay in the pocket with him too long. And that might be a psychological effect. So... It could go either way. I don't know who really has the advantage. You have to make a decision, Alonso. What are you going to predict? Well, the logic says Bute, but um, given uh, the fact that uh, he got knocked out almost uh, the last one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, Andrade for, on this one and uh, by, a, uh, by knockout. And uh, even though I still have my reservation, but why not? All right, there you have it, folks. One there for Bute, one for Andrade. We're going to have to wait and see. And of course, we're going to report back to you next week with all the results and uh, how the fight went and the right. post-fight uh, post conference and everything. And we also now, we want to talk about something that happened not too long ago. We didn't have a chance to, to do it because we've been really busy, but we want to talk about the Manny Pacquiao and uh, Miguel Cotto fight. That was an incredible fight. Wow. You know, uh, I was sure that uh, Cotto was going to do really, really well in this fight, but Manny just keeps... Uh, He's, he keeps getting uh, uh, better with uh, the weight. He gets stronger, and I'm really, really impressed. And now it's going to be... Uh you know what? Manny's power has really carried over to the 147, actually 145 pounds. Yeah. There was the, exactly. Uh, which I don't agree with, but that's besides the point. The point is he looked great. He had the power. He, he had the speed. He beat up Cotto. I really think the fight should have been stopped a bit earlier. Right. Uh, I think two of the last three rounds were pointless. He, he was done. He was just retreating. Yeah, but you know but he's what? Got so much heart. I, I have Koro. to give him respect. He has the he heart has of a, a warrior. He's never, he's never ducked anybody. No. I still think he, he has a spot in boxing. I still think he could be a competitive Definitely. welterweight. Manny Pacquiao is the future. And I, like we said before, Alonso... And Cotto has a lot of fights left. He can, uh, actually, he can fight. There's a lot of guys out there at 147. And I really think this dominant performance on the part of Manny Pacquiao really sets up the huge fight with Floyd Money Mayweather. Listen, guys. This is the only fight people want to see right now it would be a huge mistake financially for the for the sake of boxing 
to have any other those two guys fighting any other than the than themselves. I think this fight is going to be huge. Uh, people are talking it's a money thing issue right now. Um, let's just go 50-50 and just make the fight happen and make boxing, uh, you know, get back on again more on the map. Like we said, the fans deserve this fight. The world deserves this fight, and hopefully, we will see this fight. And uh, your prediction? You know what? Let's wait until the fight comes. We'll wait till it gets closer. I got my prediction, but we'll, we'll, we'll wait till wait. it gets closer. I have my idea how it will go down, but I'll have to tune in next time. The the the, the war at Kessler that happened, I can't believe it. I I'm did. in shock. Mikael Kessler, I was sure he was going to win this fight. Uh, my hat's off to uh, Andre Ward. Andre Ward, my hat's off to. I did not predict this, and you no. know what? He had a good game plan. He stuck to it, and yeah. it worked. Respect. And I think Kessler maybe came in too much confident. And I don't know what happened, but he has a problem with left-handed uh, fighters, I, I guess. Yes, but he did not look like the Kessler we have known. You right. know what I mean? Uh, I don't know what it was. Also, maybe the long layoff. He hadn't really had any good competitors ever since the Calzaghi fight. There could have been many factors, but the thing is, we cannot take away anything from Ward's victory. No, and basically now what's going to happen is that the Super 6 becomes even more interesting because we don't know who's going to win. So that's incredible. And Ward has become the new favorite. Exactly. So uh, stick the Super 6. Round 2 is going to be very exciting. It's going to be incredible. And so of course, we'll be covering everything for you and letting you know. Everything. Boxing, show that defense, don't worry. It's going to be, we're, we're here for the long run, so it's going to be great. And on that note, Boxing Show.tv fans coming back for more and more.